Hi, welcome to the AMC News Dispatch. I'm Melissa Bowen of the Public and Congressional Affairs Office. AMC's Aviation and Missile Lifecycle Management Command is playing a key role to improve maintenance, sustainment, and availability of current and future aviation systems through a program called Condition-Based Maintenance. Current aviation maintenance is generally scheduled based on a set number of days or flight operating hours. But with the use of CBM, that includes advanced technology tools that give diagnostic and system health information, maintenance will be performed when needed and not just when a certain amount of time has passed. This will help reduce the number of time-specific inspections and preventative maintenance, extend the amount of time between overhauls, and provide better prediction of component failures. The end result is smarter, more proactive maintenance scheduling while continuing to ensure the safety of our aviation crews. We recently spoke with an aviation maintenance officer to get a field level perspective on the value of CBM. We were the first combat aviation brigade to be entirely instrumented, meaning all our Chinooks, Blackhawks and Apaches were instrumented with this system. So our maintenance officers were monitoring their aircraft on a daily basis. And instead of just doing what we call scheduled maintenance and again addressing breaks, they were also um, allowed to have the parts on hand, the people and make a maintenance plan based upon that component telling them I'm about to fail. And as the system matures we'll be able to know with a little more fidelity when that component is going gonna, is gonna to fail. Right now all we can see is trending information and so when it gets above a certain threshold that's way above normal so to speak then that officer makes a decision. Do I want to continue to allow it to fly or do I take it off? So they were making much more smarter decisions on the maintenance based upon the information the system was telling us. And that's just the information we were getting at our level. This information is also passed on to the engineering community who are looking at components and that will build in some product improvement because they'll be able to find those subcomponents and the major components that are failing and improve that minor component rather than taking the whole like we do now, component off of that one component failing, send it in for a rebuild. So there's some second and third effects that we haven't even seen yet. We're also now looking at our schedule maintenance because some of these systems will allow us to do inspections less often. Right now, because we don't know all the failure modes and when, we have to continue to look at it two, three times, depending on the interval. Now, if we get more predictable, we'll know when that component's about to fail, we'll be able to, again, in the, actually change the manuals and extend our intervals, which is important. The important thing is we have limited resources. And so this allows that crew chief some of the, to do some other good stuff to, to address aircraft maintenance. So that increases, again, your safety, your reliability, and your mission, your mission accomplishment. And that's all a combatant commander wants. He wants to know that aircraft is going to be able to do that mission without interruption to come back. And then we can turn it around back into the fight quicker, too. Condition-based maintenance, which is also being used with ground systems, will provide the Army with a predictive, proactive, and reliability-centered maintenance program. The result is improved system availability and readiness. Well, that about does it for this edition of the AMC News Dispatch. And don't forget to visit the AMC website at www.amc.army.mil and click on the News and Information link on the left-hand side for the latest items of interest about the command. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you next time.